you know, those of us who are fighting for freedom, for liberty, for America, for the West, um, each of us has our own strategy of how to stay sane, how to keep our minds in check, because the way I see it, in terms of myself, all my life, I've seen, let's say I'll use an analogy, uh, just a large, large body of water and it's about to break through a dam. And the water is the enemies of freedom. And we have a little bit of uh, blocks on the dam that are stopping this, this uh, flood. And all my life I'm trying to say we got to keep this dam there. We've got to keep these blocks there. And the left is succeeding taking one out, taking ten out. And it's almost gone. Just the last couple... Uh, blocks are there and the flood's going to come in and this is definitely happening. We're watching it happening every day and I psychologically work on this in terms of my own character, my beliefs, of, co of course my own faith and we have to be prepared. We fight till our dying breath but we have to be prepared uh, for what Christ warns us about in terms of the last days, in terms of the Antichrist or even if it's not the last days there will always be that painful period and we know through Christ Jesus, of course, through Christ's resurrection, He has already won and we went through Him. We got that. But there will be a painful period on this earth. Um, now, instead of trying to sound like a pastor or a priest here, I'm just setting the stage here for my question for you. Your specialty is connected to something that must be extremely frustrating because you're trying to tell the truth about Islam and all we really see is Sharia and Jihad winning, conquering, and you not being allowed to tell the truth. How do you persevere as a person uh, intellectually and with your faith uh, in these um, suffocating totalitarian circumstances? Well, I try to be like the men that I describe in this book. You know, I mean, they, they faced um, insurmountable odds, but they had enough faith and courage and perseverance. And, I, and, you know, that's what I try to do. And that's what I'm hoping everyone would learn to do. And everything you said is spot on. I agree with you. And, uh, you know, it's uh, the Islam thing, especially. It's just, I think the, the good news, of course, is while I agree with you with the analogy of, you know, this wall that's about to burst asunder from, a flood, you know, I think ultimately it has to get worse before it gets better because, and I, and I think that's what I've been seeing in, in, in recent years. I mean, you know, today we understand the idea of fake news, for example. Well, fake news has been around for a long time. It's even around in the context of my book. Um, the characters that I discuss today in academia are, as I've said, demonized and portrayed they're the bad guys because they went against Muslims and so forth. So that sort of thing has really been embedded in Western society for a long time, you know, many, many decades. Um, but I think people are finally starting to understand it and they're starting to see how bad it's getting. And so in a way, in a really perverse way, the worse it gets, the better it might get. If, if only because it's things are going to you know, come to a head, which it has to. Um, otherwise, you know, if you look at the last few years and decades, it was a slow motion. I liken it to the, um, you know, the analogy of the uh, boiling frog, <laughs> where, you know, as you, when you put a, if you put a frog in a boiling pot, slowly boiling him, he won't even understand that he's dying and he won't leap out. If you put him in a boiling pot right away, he'll hop out, he'll feel it. And I think what's been going on for just decades are, is Americans have been just bombarded constantly with this false epistemology based on the media and the news and academia, politics and so forth. And it's to me, it's very refreshing that people at least get it. And the fact that we're being shut down and censored and deplatformed is itself a reflection of just how much we're getting it. Because before it didn't, didn't matter if one or two guys said anything, you just dismiss them as conspiracy theorists. But I think our movement, meaning you know, our people being able to see reality, is growing so much that it's become such a threat to them, which makes them retaliate in such a bad way, which in turn makes more people's eyes open. Um, so I think that's the best, uh, the only optimistic way one can look at it. 